this clip give you the chills, tingles, or make your hair stand on end? If so, you just experienced a fascinating phenomenon known as frisson, that moment when music resonates so deeply and viscerally that you can feel it through your entire body. Frisson comes from a French term that means shiver, and it refers to a powerful sensation that can feel like waves of pleasure washing over you. Music is the most common trigger of frisson, but it's not the only one. Frisson can also be experienced in other situations, such as gazing at a beautiful painting, witnessing a stunning sunset, realizing a deep insight or truth, reading an impactful line of poetry, watching an emotionally charged scene in a movie, or listening to an inspiring speech. Scientists have found that frisson often happens when music surprises us in a positive way. Our emotional response to unexpected things in the music, like surprising harmonies or a sudden change in volume, can trigger this sensation. We call this the violation of musical expectancy, and it's one of the main reasons why we feel frisson. A good example of this is the 2009 debut performance of Susan Boyle on Britain's Got Talent, which elicited frisson in many viewers due to its unexpected, impressive nature. Sometimes we feel frisson when we hear music because it makes us feel the same emotions as the music itself. This is called emotional contagion. For example, the music might use certain tones, rhythms, or words to suggest a feeling like sadness or excitement, and then we start to feel that way too. Now let's listen to this clip and identify whether we feel emotional contagion. <laughs> Contrast valence theory is another reason why we might feel frisson. Contrast valence theory suggests that our emotional states are strongly influenced by contrast. Musicologist David Huron explains that if we initially feel bad and then we feel good, the good feeling tends to be stronger than if the good experience occurred without the preceding bad feeling. This is because of a process called cognitive reappraisal, in which our minds reframe the meaning of a stimulus. To illustrate this, imagine you're an ancient human being from long ago. You're sleeping in the dark next to your smoldering fire when you suddenly hear some branches breaking nearby. At first, you feel scared and you think it could be a dangerous predator lurking nearby. However, upon closer inspection, you're relieved to discover that it's your partner returning from a successful hunt, bringing food to the group. This moment of significant relief and joy is an example of how our minds use cognitive reappraisal to reframe a perceived threat into a positive experience. A similar phenomenon can occur when listening to music such as this song. You might have initially felt uneasy due to how shocking this clip was. If you did, cognitive reappraisal may have helped transform your initial feeling of adrenaline into something positive as your mind realizes that you are safe and that the music is making you feel this way. During the frisson experience, the brain's reward system is activating, generating feelings of happiness. Simultaneously, our body's primitive threat detection system, known as the sympathetic nervous system, is activated. This system helps us respond to danger and is often referred to as the fight or flight response. It involves the release of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline, which cause various physical changes in our body, including increased heart rate and blood pressure and pupil dilation. Goosebumps, also known as piloerection, may also be experienced due to contraction of the small muscles at the base of our hair follicles. This response is present in other animals and helps to make them appear bigger when facing a threat. Scientists have also discovered that frisson can trigger our body's production of natural feel-good chemicals called endogenous opioids. These chemicals can give us feelings of pleasure, similar to the effects of opioid medications. So essentially, frisson may give us a natural high. In fact, research has discovered that people who take naloxone, a medication that blocks the effects of opioids, feel less excitement while listening to music. Interestingly, frisson can also be triggered by unpleasant things. This may be 
be explained by two phenomena called hedonistic reversal and benign masochism. Hedonistic reversal occurs when something typically unpleasant is perceived as pleasurable, like the burn of a spicy pepper in your mouth. Now, I am not much of a spicy food person, but for the sake of this video, I am going to try one of the spiciest peppers on this planet to see if I can experience any sort of hedonistic reversal. This is a Carolina Reaper. It's now the second hottest pepper on the planet. What's the first one? Pepper X. But this is a Carolina Reaper. It is over 2 million Schofield units. The jalapeno is like 2,000 Schofield. I'm just gonna take a little bite. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Don't do this at home, by the way. This is not recommended. This is just pure stupidity. Oh my God. It's actually not too bad. It's, it's okay. It is getting hotter though. Am I supposed to not drink any milk? If this is any challenge, then we'd be an afterburn. It is getting hotter and it, it's kind of hard to talk. <sighs> yeah, I had the same thing. It's still hot. Oh my god! Oh my god, don't try this at home. This this is this is awful. And I didn't even have the whole thing. No pleasure whatsoever. No hedonistic reversal. Other than the fact that I'll feel relieved after this is over. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream helps when the ice cream is in your mouth. Okay, it feels fine. And then you swallow it and then the burn comes back. I think it's getting better now. Finally. I wanted to tell you guys how stupid that was. The night that I tried that hot pepper involved severe abdominal pain and cramping. It was much worse than the taste of the pepper itself. Would I do it over again? No. Was it worth it? No. Don't do that. Let's return to the topic of the video. The second phenomena that is thought to play a role in frisson being caused by unpleasant things is called benign masochism. Benign masochism refers to enjoying initially negative experiences that the body falsely interprets as threatening. Your brain then realizes that your body has been fooled and that there's no real danger, which leads to a pleasurable sensation. For example, watching a horror movie can induce fear in us, but because our minds acknowledge we're not in real danger, we can feel a simultaneous rush of pleasure. Not everyone experiences frisson. Frisson is experienced by anywhere between 55 and 86% of the population, but even among those who do experience it, there are varying degrees of intensity. Researchers have scanned the brains of people who experience frisson and discovered that they have a much higher volume of connections between the auditory cortex, the region of the brain that processes sound, and the the brain's reward and emotional systems. What's also intriguing is that the people who experience frisson tend to share a common personality trait, openness to experience. People who possess this trait tend to have active imaginations, appreciate beauty and nature, seek out new experiences, reflect deeply on their feelings, and love variety in life. Researchers don't know exactly what evolutionary advantage this could have given our species. One idea is that it helps us understand the world around us, which is important for our survival. When we feel chills in response to something that we consider beautiful or meaningful, it may be because our brains are rewarding us for acquiring new knowledge and information about our environment. Thank you for watching and please be sure to share your favorite frisson inducing songs and experiences in the comments below. I'm really, really curious to hear what triggers frisson for you guys. This is NeuroGalMD and we'll catch you next time.